Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming languages and being comfortable with them. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a programmer, how do you feel when your team chooses a language for a project that you are not comfortable with? I don't really care so much about that. The only thing I ever care about is if it's a sensible choice, if you're talking to me personally now. Uh, and I know that this may not be for everybody, so I'm just going to give you my personal, personal, very, very, very personal opinion. Uh, because I've talked with quite a few developers who really hate this, where they don't really want to deal with programming languages that they don't like or so forth. I mean, I can be very transparent and say that I work practically every day with a language that I am not uh, a fan of, which is Scala. But it is a very good language in terms of productivity. There's nothing I need to do that I can't do. Heck, the pr uh, half the problem for me, at the very least, is that I can do too much with it. And with all those choices, cre it creates a lot of problems. Uh, uh, it creates other sorts of problems. It's almost too much, uh, but I can do it. And just as with anything, it's similar to, to me as when I wanted to become a programmer to start off with. It's gonna. I mean, it's gonna be frustrating. Anybody who ever wanted to do anything that is new to them and that has any type of meaning is gonna have to go through the frustration of failing and trying your best to improve. And if my team, and this, ha as I said, this has happened for me more than once, decides that you know what, we're gonna use this language or that language. We have a uh, we have a saying which is uh, disagree and commit. Now I've been accused of many times that uh, I could be better at that thing and I agree. Uh, I, the thing that I feel is unjust is that people who have told me that don't seem to see that actually you know what just because I uh, feel that this is not a good choice that doesn't mean that I'm gonna undermine it it's not that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna try to get good at the thing and really make my effort uh, or to, to do my part it's just that I'm gonna complain about it Every single time I see a decision blow up in our face, when I saw, when I feel that it was very, very uh, predictable that this was going to happen, I'm going to tell you that this thing here is not working for us. We should make a change. And honestly, I would reverse uh, this argument because I've heard it more than once and say, well, okay, sure. If if that is me undermining the decision or not being a team player, what where what, where do we draw the line for incompetence? So, because if we have a decision that is not working for us, when do we go from just saying that, you know, like just living with this? Like, when do we go back on our decision, or do we just say that whoever had uh, whoever has the most pay in the company has no is never wrong? I just want to make that clear so I understand uh, when because uh, at the same in the same breath the same sort of people will tell me that oh we will we want you to suggest improvements and so forth and really push it and go the extra mile and ideally work overtime and spend a lot of extra time in your spare time to learn about the latest and trendiest stuff so that we can so we can adopt those things and I kind of go isn't that a little bit it, it sends a mixed message so you want me to do all these things, but you only want to hear about it when you you when you what well, like when do you want to hear about it? Because if I can't question the decision that has been made, because uh, and when it's not working out for us, because then I'm not a team player. What, what what what's the point in me suggesting anything? Or is it that you just like my favorite? This is like um, going out uh, trying to figure out what you're gonna have to do for dinner with your with your significant other. You go, what do you want to eat? Oh, I don't care. You just pick anything. Okay. How about pancakes? No. How about hamburgers? No. But you said you didn't have a preference. No, no, I don't care. Just pick something. Okay. Yeah, and you play that dance until somebody gets pissed off. Usually me. Uh. So. For me, it really comes down to that. I don't really care what language we use if I'm not comfortable with it or not, because I know that I can learn it and I can adopt it and so forth. You might need some guidance because that's something that is really important to consider. And that's why I was saying that the only thing that really matters to me personally is, is this, is this a sensible choice? If someone came to me and said, hey, Frederick, we're going to build this web application in C. I would very much ask why, why in the world, and if you have a really good answer to that, 
like a really really good answer I kind of go yeah I can see the logic here I can see the sensibility in that then let's do it let's fucking do it uh, as long as we're communicating to our stakeholders that this is going to have an impact and like we're making sure that this is the right decision not just for us engineers but for the company itself then let's do it let's fucking do it but if you come to me and say we're going to do Haskell and I go why well, because I've been really, I've been getting really into Haskell recently, and I think it's pretty cool. That's not a good. That's not, in my opinion, that's not a good motivation as to why we should do this. Unless, I mean, of course, if we're doing like a hobby project type of thing where we're just kind of playing around, then fuck, let's do it. But I would never accept that as a good motivation. Uh, if we were dealing with a customer or someone who actually depends on us doing a really good job, then there are some more sensible choices, depending, of course, of, uh, on the situation, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that, me personally, I don't mind if uh, my team chooses a tool that I'm not comfortable with or a language or whatever, because uh, as a software developer, that's kind of part of the job, to figure out how can I make this work? How can I learn this thing and so forth? You're not expected to be a master of everything, but you're expected to solve problems. And learning new things is part of that problem solving process. So for me, it really only comes down to, is this a sensible choice? Because I can promise you, I can, I've had many a times been in a situation where I don't agree with the decision that my team or my company has made and I will be very verbal and I will always tell them I don't think this is a good idea and I think I'd, and of course also present alternatives and like my perspective and sometimes you have to as I said disagree and commit you just realize that yeah nobody's hearing you out let's try to make this work and I promise you your, if throughout your career you're going to be faced with this challenge many 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 times and you always have the option of just walking away and saying no I'm not going to do this uh, but the alternative is to try to make it work even if it's not the perfect thing and I think that that is a very there's a fine balance sometimes you need to walk away and sometimes you need to bite down and just uh, get through it have a great day